This is the, the two big men in the wee cab. <laughs> uh, hey, New you Year's earlier, but in case you share, share, share the love of the reason you have this now, uh, see, boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jimmy. Now, you all know how much we love Big James. And we have the Smith Taylor out tonight, because Jimmy's on a long drill. But. We're just returning the favour because we had Jimmy. You, we had you nabbed yesterday. You came and got a demo in the class toy in yesterday. Don't know, I and ironically, the last time I sat in beside you was. and a harvester was for the same farmer doing grass. Yeah. And you had the class, <laughs> you had the old class yeah, yeah, shovel yeah. out and demo. Don't know, I... And you said to me that you liked it, but I had four and a half cylinder it wasn't yeah, big enough. No, well, they it for you. So they're back out now, a six cylinder. You drove it yesterday. Good oh. machine or bad machine? Oh, no, no, good machine. You like her? Oh, aye, aye, I do, aye. And since then, you've upgraded to your own Volvo, which we talked about last year. Yeah, yeah. Well, what would she have a look at? Well, she wanted him, but she wanted him to hydraulic the Volvo, no, that's. Yeah, but then she's not, they moved that one to the parallel linkage, yeah, not yeah. the Z linkage. But she's, uh, the car's improved. Yeah. They had her leg room. Left, go you know, for it and all that. There, they yeah. approved that. And uh, no, she has a right machine that she goes well. Should he more get up and go than the Oh, Volvo? the Volvo's lazy, according to that. Yeah. Uh, that's 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 yeah. a 435 level of horse parting board. Yeah, yeah, it's a hydrostatic drive, which is different, but nice at the same time. You go onto the way, it's nice yeah. to work, you know, yeah. it's different to drive. Anyway, the most exciting thing that has happened with Big James is in front of us, which the camera can't see at the minute. All the camera sees is two big bellies. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy has been running the brand new header from John Deere. And we sat in the field doing the same customer silage a few years ago in the 88 and you said you wouldn't be buying another new harvester That's unless right. they modified yeah. and made changes to the reel. Yeah, that's right. Now this isn't officially launched as we do this, but by the time this video is out, it is officially launched. Oh, right. So you've been running this this year, we've known about it, we sneaked a couple of wee <laughs> shots of it out, but it's all been, you're not allowed to show, and you've not really been able to show any videos or anything, no, no. but it was worth it. Oh, here. <laughs> it's made the machine. She has a machine now. Honestly? Aye, I, I tell you, well, we went, I'm not criticising all our mechs and machine, we went from machine, previous machine to John Deere. Uh, you had that buzz about you when you got the 7.4s. But we went to 8000 series, yes, lovely machine, but you just did not have that that buzz. That's here now, oh, here. That's an animal. Honestly? Ah, oh, tell me. Now, you were annoyed at letting go of the 88 because you loved the sound of it. Oh, I love the number one. But you're into this V1298 now. Yeah. But that's not, it's the head, because obviously we, Johannes gave us the talk from, Johannes gave us the talk, we're all pal and did all the official, it's John Deere's header and we did this and we did that and blah, blah, blah. But you're actually, you know the way sometimes manufacturers have a tendency <laughs> and maybe open it a wee bit more than it actually is. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, they did that with their first of the harvesters, to be honest, and I was disappointed with it. But at the scene you come to lumps, you come to lumps, she just goes on, she just swallows it in. Now, I know that's a big trailer, and I'm not saying you should have a trailer like that. It is a place like that. Ah, it's some load of stuff. It's some load of stuff. Thank you, fella. Oh, you're doing all right, not a simple. She's so still away with two loads there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're not a blue man anymore. Well, but there with you, there you <laughs> I know we need more tailors, but um, no, just when we have the quiet cab a wee second, the headers made it for you. Oh, the headers off the machine with 15 Honestly? I'm telling you, we broke two times, not telling you, like three times. And this has been a bad season. Heavy, heavy you drove a lot of before. Oh, oh, that was a premium. Now, last year on this very same farm, late one evening, there was whole crop going in, and you had got a, a how would we describe this, a test header. 
That's right. Come out. Yep. All right. Now we didn't video this or anything. But Tess had her come out and we were getting her hooked on and I actually went and done a load of it myself. Now it had its issues. Oh, it did. But they listened. But yep. you knew the concept was right. Yeah. And the concept is very simple, guys. Extra two rows of times. Four to six. Roger has went from skinny mini to... <laughs> now, they like to, I want to say she's 100% perfect. Nothing else. Nothing else, but the ear, she's up there. They, John Deere is up there again. And they're back up there again. You know, they... But even the style of it. Ah, it looks right now in the front of the new sure harvester. Sure, the back of the harvester, not there, and then the style of it. Does it really do it for oh, you? Oh, it does, aye. Aye. Up to you, it's Just think of it as a common sign. Well, should sound nice, yeah. but then look, they've developed this engine differently. That's right, yeah. No, that's a good, that's a, a brand new machine, we're well impressed, really, as, as, as I said, you went from our previous one to first set of John Deere we bought, and it was real, you're all excited about it, done it for you, and <laughs> beforehand, if you understand that way, I don't want to say the way, <laughs> uh, beforehand, you bought the 85 series, and I yeah. was disappointed, uh, the 88, yes, I know but you see are. now, it's just, oh. In fairness, when you have the 8000 series, I, th I think it's very fair to say we injected injected the wee bit of enthusiasm back into it because we came out with the demo uh, Cummins engine. I know she was biased in 86, but and your old boy got a run on that mine that day. Oh, here. And, oh. That, and that got his love affair going for that bigger one. See, 88 was a good machine. Uh, the pickup radio was her that time. And then, listen, it all, it's all variations, right? But You're 7 4. Your last seven four, everything was quite well matched. Mm -hmm. Your eight four, when you bought it, versus your seven four, it's not that the pickup let you down massively. It was more the harvester let you down. It was. Then you upped the par and you got that bit right, and then the par added on to the that particular pickup. <laughs> That's how you felt. Whereas but now they've, they've changed. He's changed their feed rollers. They actually put a heavier one in the bottom there, stone, the, bottom, the metal tinker one, and they have that aggressive feed roller on her. I that smooth feed roller was never a job. Never a job, no. And it, I answer, and if I'll tell you even better not there, it's changed again in the incoming 8000 mm -hmm. series that we can now talk about as well. You can actually see, we actually have videos of it. I don't know now, I can't say that, 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 that particular, but they've actually made the teeth longer. The wee spikes that come out, and what happens is, you know the way whenever it runs round, runs round, it can still get caked up. Yeah, yeah. It can't get the points of them teeth. And that's constantly keeping that. You can see a massive difference. We've seen it between the two 85s, the old 85 and the in-common one, which is now out there. So much smoother, I think so. I think Rob Hill, and um, you know, we, we, we know and love Rob. I think Rob got the surprise of his life at yours the last day, he went. Oh, I did. Uh, you just told him you were happy. Yep, I told him happy <laughs> first time. He, that I always patted him because he was sent to do the dirty work. Of them, uh, as he was, and he always got the blunt end of the thing. But no, uh, we had to tell him. My mother actually made us say to him, <laughs> make sure what? you tell him. But um, he, he did say to me that he, he he's pretty convinced there's no place left, really, in Ireland for that bottom, uh, bottom smooth. Not smooth, you know, the way that... that that aggressive feed yeah, yeah, needs yeah. to be an all Irish machine. Does I? Yeah. I think so. But it's all a learning process. Yep. And they've upped their bottom feed roller be that heavier. Uh, because that would have been the stones. But you know the way there, the crone, and you've tried the crone, and you like the crone. Crone's a good machine, uh, but I think they... But you know the way they talk about their six feed rollers are so much better for feeding grass and all. And probably historically, where? Do you think, genuinely now, you think the feeding situation fours enough when you get the right hander in front of the so. I do think the way that arrow would compresses it. Uh, I'd always said about six feed rollers with the crone and I'd have the crone. But that way the crops was this year, like, I did my father done a little lift in the start and I'd have a bat bait before. We um, can we can tell. Yeah. That'll be right. That'll be right it, <laughs> no don't <laughs> uh, no. Uh, the way if you can take a lump beforehand, you're holding the joystick always, holding or just waiting there to. No, you just play her on. Yeah. And she goes. She never refuses. 
he have sat he, up there with the feet pain. Just... Have he jammed her yet? Uh, twice. Um, because let's talk about the feed roller. It's solid. So, so the feed roller does, it doesn't go the way the crunching thing you know you'd hear or not. It just stops. And to be honest with you, the first time I've done it, I screwed her up a bit more. But the second time, well, it's a bit aggrams. Now, what do you mean, screwing her up a bit more? They screwed up the hydraulics on her, speed her up a bit more. So, what what is the purpose of this header? What makes it so good, apart from the big feed roller? Well, the six time bars on her seems to help her. And yeah. the Uber, the Uber, you know, me, the last time. You know, along the field there, and the, you know, seen your crow press start to rise and rise, and then the next thing the clutch kicked in, and then your jump, you know. Yeah. And now, the, the other header, you had a certain grass, and it was an animal. But that header there, maybe we youngish grass days, she could be harder work now, but when in that difficult crops, she seems to do the job, you know. But drive to the header is completely different. Completely different, it's completely quiet, no chains, no, no chains. You, you hear that sweet whine, that's actually the wee motor. Nearly, se- nearly serious, like a down whole crop head. Yeah. Here over, like a down, or like a down knee's head. Yeah. The way you, you hear the wee whine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and there, no, there are no chains, there are no nothing. So, what, what's your daily maintenance like then now you've moved on to this header? I'm going throw it in the morning and uh, give it a wee grease there, back and forth. But you have no chains, the oil? No, no chains. You're not worrying about it. Now the oil are working, you're not. You know, you're, you're always cleaning down to make sure. No, they'll be a lot less. So, John Deere has ticked Big Jimmy's box with yep. this header. The way the wheel is all underneath, the way it floats, it's a bit of Big Jimmy loves the new reel and loves the new harvester. It's brilliant. Now we just need the joystick next. Oh, you need the joystick uh, now. This is still an issue with these boys at John Deere, uh, you know. And uh, the massage, but here, uh, <laughs> massage seat. <laughs> Brian, you mind you said you will get a free time. You would like a new handle. I'd like a bigger screen, a new handle. Like a tractor screen? Yep. Uh, Gen uh, 4, they call it, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, I would like, I'd like to see that there. I would like to see some way you could do something with your two way radio that you could work on the joystick. I think just we, we finish things. I like can, to see their can calm. you not do that, no? I think they can, maybe, I'm not too sure. You just want to take time to read the book. Maybe. I think it done for me. Taylors. Aye, oh, we have a different one to the food. <laughs> That's a good trailer. Uh, she draws grass. So she does. She would hide a wee bit more. And the interview there. <laughs> She'd hide a wee bit more. Uh, listen, you took. That was a. Uh, you know, the bottom line was you bought a brother. Yeah. You bought. You changed two bailers. And the deal was right on the day. And I know how this man works. A boy mentions a deal and he'd maybe coach a silly price. And if you're. If you, if you agree with that price. That would be sort of the way. You'll you'll get to keep it. Yeah, yeah. And I think the old deal was there. It took me a while to make my mind up though about it in fairness. The price was oh no, you were you were you 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 <laughs> you Aye. But you did it. Aye. Aye. So you bought a broth and then simply because there was a good deal you thought would do no harm, draw a bit of grass. You're not convinced. No. You like your hair. I like my hair. She howls a lot more. She does howl a bit more. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. She is smoother in her ways along the road. You just. Uh, you just. Fair there. Yep. No, uh, hers good stuff. So we've done quite a bit since we last interviewed you. You've got the stone picker. Aye, that's the last sort of. Wait, me and my dad's one to hide the show. Uh, I've looked at it seven years and the boy actually said to us this year, are you going to buy it? <laughs> On I don't be dead, I. Driving this, so what what way is she different to drive or not to drive? She's something similar all, you know, really uh you're she'll be something similar. So she won't do. Uh, 
But you must drive her at lower revs. Aye, well no, I, to be honest, I ain't run her full. Uh, they tried that, they said run her at 1600, is that 1600 RPM? Yeah. No, just, uh, we tried that the first thing. We turned it off. Don't know what that's for. Must have been for the road or something. <laughs> she wasn't, she wasn't the half of the machine, no. Uh, well, we find that anyway, I don't know, maybe that's us. Uh, we tried Just that. ignorant, Jimmy. Lightly. Bull ignorant. Just the crops and stuff, uh, uh, the crops and stuff needed the power more. But she was a, she wasn't a, she wasn't going the same way, you know, she wasn't even sounding the same way. Somebody does it. There's a harvester on an R8. Oh, here that thing. You can be pushing her on harder for all the sure no trailers, so. That was good, James. I enjoyed well, the catch up. Sure, you laugh a load here, sir. Ah, oh, I'm boring. Hey, I'm happy. Hey. I would forget how you do it. I would say you don't know how to do it right there. Hey,